Hello and welcome to the next video on basic electrical training. In the previous video, we tried to understand some of the common tools such as the drill machine, oil can, scissors, screw gauge, the allen key set, the screwdrivers, scale, uh, adjustable spanners uh, and open ended spanners and uh, pipe spanners plus the adjustable plier. In this video, we will try a little more understanding a little more about some of the other tools that are used in the electrical trade. The first tool that we will understand is called a bearing puller. A bearing puller is a tool that is used to remove the bearing from any of the electrical uh, equipments. For example, ceiling fan would have a bearing inside it. So, in order to uh, remove the bearing, you will need a tool like this because the bearing cannot be removed easily from the fan. And in order to do that, we use the bearing puller. You can turn it around uh, and uh, uh, tighten it against a bearing and then use the puller to remove the bearing from the puller, from the bearing from the fan. For example, you see a bearing here. Uh, in order to you place it on top and then you put the small uh, shaft in between. So, once you put this in and tighten it, this will uh, uh, spread apart and by spreading apart it will hold on to the bearing inside and we will be able to pull the bearing out using the bearing puller. There are other types of bearing pullers also. So, this is commonly used when you need to pull out the bearing from a shaft. So, these are used where the shaft and bearing are together and there are different types of bearing pullers that come with two legs and three legs uh, which are commonly used to remove bearing from any of the electrical equipments. We will try and understand about this in some of the future videos while we are doing motor winding. The next tool is a hammer. A hammer is commonly used to hit nails or uh, uh, there are different weights of hammer that we commonly come across. This is a heavier version hammer. This is a hacksaw frame and a hacksaw blade. This is used to cut any of the iron items and for which we use the hacksaw blade and hacksaw frame. Uh, you hold it on the one side and you're, you can uh, rub it on the item to cut it out. This is a file. File is used to sharpen some of the uh, electrical tools or remove any carbon elements which are sticking to any of the electrical tools. This again comes in different shapes and sizes. The next tool is called a poker. As the name says, this is used to um, create a hole in any uh, component. This is a ring spanner. This is also like a spanner only difference is that the ends are like a ring. This is again used to open nuts and bolts while you are working on electrical trade and this again comes in multiple sizes. The next spanner is called a T spanner because this is in the form of a T. Uh, this again has a small pipe like formation in the bottom which is placed on a nut or a bolt and you can use that to open or tighten nuts bolts. Because this is in the form of a T, it is called a T spanner. The next tool is called as a chisel. This is used to uh, cut or break any uh, metal item or uh, to cut any winding wire or any of that. We use the chisel. Now, apart from that, there are some pliers that you can see. The first one is called a combination plier. The combination plier can be used to again open nut or a bolt. Normally, nut bolts is better to be you opened using a spanner. However, in cases where it is too tight and the spanner is unable to do it, you can use the combination plier also. The combination plier um, can also be used uh, to cut wires also because normally this has a cutter also in between. So, you can place the wire in between and you can cut the wire while you are working on electrical trade. The other type of plier is called a nose plier because typically the end is like a nose and this plier is used where your normal combination plier in places where the normal combination plier cannot reach, we use the nose plier. The next plier tool is called a wire cutter. This is used to typically cut wires while you are working on electrical trade. This is a very common requirement that you may need to do and you can use the wire cutter to cut out wires. Now, all these tools as you can see have an insulation on top. This is to ensure that you are able to hold it properly without fear of any electrical shock. The next tool is called a clamp meter. Uh, it is also called a digital multimeter with a tong tester also. It is called a clamp meter or a tong tester because you, the top portion of this looks like a tongue or a clamp and that is why it is called a clamp meter. 
It also has a digital multimeter with two probes attached to it. So similar to the multimeter that we saw in one of the earlier courses. This is used to detect AC, DC voltages uh, and ampere of, cu of current supply that is passing on through a particular wire. So those are some of the common tools that you will be using while you are working on the electrical trade. Uh, try and uh, look through each of them uh, and understand each of them very well before you start working on any of the electrical repairing work. Thank you very much.